Hey everybody, let's take a look at the 3D models in maps feature. So what I've done here is I have created a group called 3D Printable Radial Pneumatic Engine Group. Uh, I got this model uh, off Sketchfab. If you search for it there, you can find it. And it also had a website which contained a few pictures, which I've also grabbed as well. Now, what I've done is I've uploaded the 3D model and a flat image of the parts list as maps. And so now when you upload a map, you also have the option to upload a 3D model or a flat image, whereas before it was only flat images. So if we go into the parts list, uh, I've got my normal flat map here and I've gone and I've created three hotspots. And if we take a look at these hotspots, you can see that they are looking at the model, which is in the snaps area that I uploaded. However, I have set up to look at the different waypoints. So in the model, I've created a bunch of waypoints. The big gear that we see here is going to go and look at the big gear waypoint. Uh, and the other ones are also mapped accordingly, depending on uh, what they are. So this one is a, a clamp, I called it. I don't know. Uh, and so this is going to the waypoint that I've called clamp join, which focuses on the where the clamp join is on the model itself. Cool, right? So if we go and check this out, I'm going to close out of here. Yes. Go to my snaps and I'm going to open up the model here. So you can see I haven't set a starting point, so it just kind of zooms out and shows us everything. And if I open up the map, by default, it's going to show the first map that I've uploaded in that area, which was the engine. I'm going to look at the parts list and here's our hotspots here. And if I click on the big cog here or the big gear there it's zoomed in and then the oh yeah this one was the next one the clamp whoop, zooms in so we can take a look at where the clamps are located and then this one makes us look at this uh, bolt down here right so pretty straightforward intuitive looks great as well so let's go and do a similar thing with the 3D model and see how that works in the maps. So I've uploaded these three snaps here and this one is the same parts overview flat image that we saw before. However, I've uploaded it as an equirectangular format. So you get this kind of view here. Now this is only because I didn't have a proper 360 view of the parts list. So we're just kind of faking it for now, but you guys are creative. So you can imagine how this would work otherwise. Um, and now if we go into maps, of course you have the the map here which you can spin around and look at but we don't have any hot spots created on it so let's go quickly create some of those because i'm going to show you a really cool new feature as well go to the maps and we'll open up this model here now let's go we'll do we'll do kind of the same thing in reverse so we'll find the big cog here or the big gear and we're gonna go and uh yeah i'm gonna create a new hot spot and i'll just plop it i don't know right about there and the scaling is off on this, so let's, uh, I'm not gonna set that up. I'm just gonna just make that a little distance. This is gonna be two, two meters away from this, right? Uh, and then I'm gonna choose the group, the radial engine group, and we are gonna look at the model. No, we're not. We're gonna look at the parts overview. We're gonna manage the start point, and we're gonna say, hey, where do we wanna start? And we could say, okay, let's look at, here we go, the big, here, right in the middle. And then I'm going to save out of there and I'll create another one. And we will put it, uh, I will do the bolt again, just because. And I'll make that go out a little bit more so we can see it. And we're going to go back to our parts overview again. And we're going to set this to look at one of those uh, bolts down here. And we'll rotate it a little bit just because. Okay, so we'll put one of those bolts right in the middle. Save that. Save that. And then get out of here. And so now if we go and look at our parts overview again, we have the ability to open up our map. And you can see here's our new hotspots in the map that we did. And so if we want to find out, I'll just spin this out of there. If we look at the big cog. Woo, there we go. And if we look at the other guy over here, whoosh, there it is. Okay, so now you have the ability to create map hotspots for the same image. Rather than having to jump to a different image, you don't have to anymore. You can jump to a different point 
in that image, which allows for a ton of flexibility. And that applies to the new 3D models as maps, as well as the existing maps, okay? So no longer do you have to go to a new image, you can just navigate within that image as well. Um, the maps behave the same, whether or not they're 3D or flat images, you can still make them full screen, uh, click on them and then they go back uh, as well as focusing on there. Lots of flexibility to be had with this. Hope that helps you out in your creative endeavors and I'll talk to you later. Thank <music> you.